Hey guys, this is Satish here and in the today's video we're going to talk about and analyze uh, some of the basic topics how you can plan your examination to get a very good mass. So in the today's video we're going to talk about paper 14 of again uh, the syllabus 2016 so of the strategic financial management which people call it as SFM. Great, so we are come to the uh, syllabus part. So the syllabus of this paper 14 contains uh, the four important sections which carries 25 percentage 20 percentage 25 percent 30 percent so put together is 100 percent so i already know 40 is the basic person 50 is the average person so you need to ensure that you get 40 if you're getting more than 50 getting aggregate in uh, the entire group will be an easier task for you yeah so i would like to say to you guys plan well if in case if you're interested in the financial market if you're interested in the capital market if you're interested in the stock market if you're interested in savings if in case if you're interested in many of the if you're interested in many of the things which is triggered related to money 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 and this person i mean this subject gives you a honey to get a very good marks in your examination yeah so that is the confidence i'm having to uh, having on this subject guys because do not ignore the subject because not today tomorrow once you qualify you're going to do some of the financial aspects some of the financial uh, industry will be under your control or some of the financial uh, things which company does will be under your control so might be a cfo or a general manager of accounts or general manager of audit or general manager of finance all those things will be under your control for that you should be knowing you should be giving a lot of interest to this subject like a strategy financial management yeah so this sub i mean the subject is split into four different part i already mentioned a b c d so you have topic related to investment decision where to invest how to invest what is the benef benefit of investing how to get a lot of benefits to the organization all those things will be discussed in this topic which carries 25 marks and then 25 percentage will be for the financial market and the institution security analysis in the portfolio management which carries 25 marks and 34 35 i mean 30 percent is for the financial risk management so this is the structure given for this subject okay so let's keep moving so the examination is for three years which is a written examination objective is to provide expert knowledge on setting financial objectives and goals Managing financial resources, financial risk management, thorough understanding, remember thorough understanding of investment portfolios and the financial instruments. Very, very important for you guys to know, not from examination point of view, at least uh, to become a resourceful person for an organization and contribute for the development or the growth of the organization. Yeah. Okay. So the learning aim is to evaluate the role of agents and instruments in financial market because those are two persons agents and the instruments without this financial marketing i mean the market will not be a successful party yeah so interpret the relevance of financial institutions so analyze the degree of risk for its effective management you can have the financial market but you should know how to effectively manage those things uh, with regards to the risk yeah so advise on the investment opportunities you need to ensure that what are the objective i mean now uh, the opportunities available for organization to be successful in the industry yeah okay so like okay. so the skill set level is level c you should know knowledge comprehension and application analysis synthesis and the evaluation yeah so that i already discussed about the marks right so if in case if you go i mean the deep dive into the each of the uh, section wise so investment decision as the investment decision project planning and the control at the basic level so evaluation of risky proposal for the investment decision and the leasing so you need to ensure that you know these three important things because the reason is a company cannot always keep investing capital will be very huge so can, company cannot do the huge investment but they are wanted a great investment decision not direct investment at least they can go for a leasing so you need to know the some of the rules regulations with regards to the investment decision yeah so financial market institution already mentioned to you guys if in case you are interested in the, the stock market if you are interested in the money market capital market or banking sector or commodity whatever it is this subject becomes very very interesting subject if in case you ask me an interesting topic is this one for me because i do stock market investing i also do trading i also do some of the uh, saving schemes all those things which are available uh, 
including the uh, post office of sort of it is yeah so institution of financial market and in instruments of financial markets capital market along with the commodity exchange so this guy is a huge 20 percentage if in case if you give a very good importance you can get at least 20 10 marks here i'm expecting you to get at least 15 marks if you know the basics and couple of the uh, practical problems and uh, we have 25 percentage for the security analysis and portfolio management again this might be a little difficult for some of the students but give provided i mean like if you give it good importance you will be giving some people might feel difficult in this uh, topic uh, because the level of expectation in this section will be little high level some people might feel difficult but i don't think so it will be so difficult guys because it, it just requires couple of times for you to practice so that you are good in getting at least 15 marks at least guys i'm not asking you to get 25 percentage 15 marks is good for me yeah great so 30 percentage a bigger person bigger brother big brother of our uh, strategic financial management he carries financial risk management financial derivatives instrument and the financial risk management in the international uh, operation this i'm not expecting you to get get a very good marks guys at least 10 to 15 marks is what i'm expecting i'm very good guys yeah, so out of 30, I'm expecting 10 to 15 or 50 percentage. Yeah, so having said that, 15 here, 10 here, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60. You're done. Yes, so this level of analysis is what I was expecting from you guys before studying your subjects any of the subject not only this one, any of the subject you should be knowing this one. Yeah, so having said that, if you go to the deep dive into uh each of this topic and subtopics so in the investment decision you also have the project planning and the control cash flow statements analysis dcf not dcf techniques and capital rationing socio cost benefit analysis in the evaluation of risk we need to uh, uh, analyze the uncertainty uncertainty uncertainties with regards to the uh, investment decision capital budgeting decision and very very important these things should, you should be knowing at least i'm expecting five marks for a practical question so very very important this follow decision making standard deviation capital budgeting risk all those things are very very important from examination point of view yeah so ensure you do not ignore this yeah so leasing decision already mentioned to you guys many of the companies cannot buy the uh, capital uh, products i mean the capital instruments or capital items but they might be interested in leasing just for a saving purpose or uh, because of the uh, difficulty in arranging a huge capital for the purchase of the equipment so they can plan for a leasing this also is very very important for you to know break even for a lease rental determination cross border leasing and the sale and the lease back so not so difficult guys this topic if in case you ask me so very very easy topic just you need to know what is buying option compare that with the leasing and in case if you know the leasing you can know how to break even if you know the break even you will be knowing what is cross border and the lease and the lease back yeah perfect so with that uh, if you keep going to the next section you have the capital market and instruments we already mentioned to you guys so this carries the rbi details commercial banks nbfc insurance companies pension so capital market has already mentioned to you guys this carries some of the commercial bills government securities bonds reverse repo hedge fund mutual funds all those things will be forming part of the uh, financial market and institutions along with capital market already mentioned to primary secondary you also have optionally convertible debentures deep discount discount debentures i mean the bonds of rematerialization i mean a dematerialization rematerialization ipo follow up ipo uh, book building along with the insider insider is very very important from an examination point of view because now you will be knowing a lot of public companies are undergoing bankrupt because a recent example is the reliance communication uh, you need to know some of the uh, inside the trading uh, things which many of the people will try to misuse even though after having a lot of controls by sebi and uh, other governmental authorities in the indian context yeah so credit trading agencies there are few of the couple uh, i mean like few of the credit trading agencies might be a crystal care ikra all those things we just need to know the basics of what they do how they do all those things can be 
studied okay i just try to skip this one okay let me okay perfect so you also need to know the commodity exchange it is enough markets agriculture non agriculture spot all those things are with regards to the commodities yeah okay Great, great, great. So we come to the security analysis and portfolio management, which carries 25 marks. So you need to know how you will analyze the security, how your portfolio, how you will manage the portfolio, and how you will try to get the maximum benefits for the organization. Yeah. So economic analysis, industry analysis, company momentum, support resistance, patterns in the industry. I already mentioned to you guys, right? So complete. A uh, stock market can be read in this one because all those things, see statistic models, all these things are my favorite uh, tools or the techniques which I use in my trading or the uh, stock market investments. Yeah, so patterns in the stock price. So you also you will be having the candlesticks, taking as a candlestick. You'll be having the basic candlesticks. You will be having the bar chart. All those different things stuffs are there in this one. So Dojo's theory. I've just started learning a lot of things about this uh, person's theory. So I need to see how this will be helpful for my trading purpose. Yeah. So portfolio management, subjective, objective. All those things you can read here. So CAPM, APT, Sharp Index. I'd like to give a lot of importance to this person's tools and techniques. And remember to know. 100% out of this topic. Yeah, so portfolio management with regards to how to build a portfolio computing the portfolio risk Systematic investment and systematic investment risk with regards to risk minimization of portfolio risk all those things can be right with regards to the risk again important topic Portfolio analysis security analysis with regards to beta levered and levered beta You need to know about the beta. Yeah Okay we almost come to the end of our video so we have the financial risk management you need to know a financial risk very very important for a business to know what are its risk how it can try to reduce the risk say risk cannot be eliminated but can be controlled or reduced yeah that also you should knowing you should be knowing financial derivatives instrument so people might be little difficult to understand because uh, these things because if in case we're already in the stock market understanding forward future contract or options or swaps and swaptions interest rate derivatives might be easier for you for those people who are not aware of these things might be a straddle strangle strip straps all those things might be difficult for you but i would like to give importance to you guys and tell again try to give multiple revisionary plan for this topic at least not today whenever you enter you are the stock market this will be a very, very interesting topic for you guys because when i was studying i was not knowing all this thing. at least now i am knowing why this is called as an option what are the benefits of option forwards futures swap swaps now all those things are important from an examination point of view along with along with for your career also you can build your career in a stock market also a lot of opportunities are there in the stock market but that's the reason i'm just telling you to you to give a lot of importance to this person yeah so having said that will come i mean we will go to the financial risk management the international operation so few people might be feeling difficult in this one because they worry about all this related to international operations how do we study all those things but do not worry know the basic of these things and you are done especially with regards to the ADR, SCCB, GDR and the foreign exchange market, risk management and the investment. So know the basic level. I'm not expecting you to know the complete thing. At least know the basic level so that you are at least good to get the 50 plus marks in this subject. Perfect. So this is the video for the day guys. So as I already mentioned to you guys, I'll try to up, uh, upload um, uh, as a sample study planners so try to utilize that so that at least you can refer those things and plan your uh, strategic financial management subject with paper 14 and learn to get a very good marks in this subject yeah so we'll meet with a slide now yeah so keywords with regards to the financial i mean the strategic financial management so key points Key terminology is very very important. You should be knowing what is swap, swaption, option, futures, forward, stock market, IPO, FP, all those things should be completely understood. So understand the topic rather than 
by hearting so there is a spelling mistake so three times of reading is very very important easier if you are interested in the stock market or if you are already exposed to the stock market or the money market or in case if you are working in any of the stock market company might be in brokerage or an investor investing a management company will be very much important in case if you are already in that industry yeah so marks allocation is based on the strategy so try to have a perfect strategy if you are following one two three approach to get the good marks in the subject it will be easier for you guys to get it yeah so have a strategy for the marks yeah so practice at least few practical questions in each chapter every day so that it becomes a routine for you guys to understand what it is and how you can implement in your examination also in your day-to-day -day life that is in your career yeah so no other reference book is required I already mentioned to you guys so this book has a lot of content so just this book is sufficient for you that is the study material rtp ptp previous year question papers of five to eight items is very very important so that it carries all the question which is important for your upcoming examination yeah so right approach is very very important do not jump to the conclusion read the question see how you can attempt the question so that you get the good marks when you follow the right approach yeah so try to type few of the latest uh, revolution or an updates with regards to the stock market you can try to uh, write a zero the, which is a new broker discount broker which has uh, tried to pull a lot of the new investor young investors to the stock market that also you can give you the example in your examination and the tax loss companies act can be used wherever it's possible you let's say you have an uh, option or uh, let's say you and some of the ipo sab made a new rules as per the company act or something like that you can try to link and try to tag some of the loss in your answer wherever it's possible ensure it should be relevant do not write do not write for the purpose of writing i mean just for the uh, sake of writing do not write try to write if there is a purpose with regards to that question given in the examination yeah so two mock is more sufficient 50 days planner is very very sufficient for you guys to plan and get a very good mass in this subject yeah perfect i think this is the video for the day case for the strategic financial management that is paper 13 for the intermediate i mean like final three yeah so this is satesh hope you enjoyed the video in case if you like the video hit the thumbs up button and give uh, the importance to share this video with your friends yeah sharing is caring in case if you feel some other doubts needs to be clarified on this videos that is this video series please do ask those questions in the comment section yeah okay so we'll meet in the new video on the means yeah so on the paper 15 which is strategic cost management for the decision making purpose until then see you check your signing off bye bye